So, what are we doing out right here? Right now, I'm on the, the pier. Trying to, I just caught a Blastoise. So I'm playing the new Pokemon Go app. And everyone, like, blocked here to catch a Blastoise. I refuse. It's fucking madness. Fuck! Where is it? Look at this place. Wow. I can't even catch this fucking magic card. This is retarded. Oh, I just can't believe how many people have been coming by me. Yeah, and what are those? What's this t shirt you're wearing? Uh, this is my latest t-shirt gotta lift them all aka gotta catch them all so basically there's like different things you can do to like get um different tricks you can do to level up faster so if you're like playing this game and you don't know how it works first of all okay all right first things first you have the name of the Pokemon, you have the level, and it's got those rings. The, one, the outer ring and the inner ring, and you want to throw it into the inner ring. Okay, obviously, and then sometimes they'll attack. So if you just throw it up like that, and you hit the Pokemon, and then it might catch it. There we go. Yeah, there's little tricks, so maybe, hang on. To save your battery, because this app just destroys all your battery life. So if you go to like the settings, in here, and you go settings, go to battery saver, turn it on. So when you put that in your pocket, it saves the screen, it saves the battery. And then it'll vibrate when there's like a, a, a Pokemon pops up or something. These things are little Poke stops. So you spin them, I just spin it, and then like Pokeballs, so you get like items from there. So this is another goal thing. Another thing you can do to get extra experience points um, is you hold the ball, spin it like this in a circle, and then put spin on it and throw it up like that. And it puts a curve on it. And if you do curve throws, then you get like extra experience as well. And if they're hard, if they jump out of the ball, you can feed them a berry. And it makes, it gives you better chances of catching them. There we go. Yeah. So the aim of the game, I think, is just to level up or catch a ball. Level up and then take control of gyms. So, one, oh, there's a, oh, sorry. There's another little Pokemon. I'll just catch this one, get him out of the way. I wonder if Karina got that last place. Where is she at? Did you get it? Damn. So you feed that. You can, if it's a tough Pokemon, you can use different uh, Pokeballs. Like a great ball. High level, right? Yeah, so you, to get a great ball, you got to get up to level 12, I think it is. Uh, to get the Ultra Ball, you got to be at least level 20. And what level are you? I'm level 20. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've had it just over a week. Um, so the other thing, so uh, I magic counters. So this pier right now we're on Santa Monica Pier. And literally there are people everywhere. They come here every single night. Which hundred and hundred people to come and play this game and catch Pokemon. So We've come out like, okay, I'll be honest, I came out like three or four nights <laughs> just to catch, uh, just to catch these Pokemon. Um, there's a, oh, so here's the other thing. So basically you go into your items list and if you activate uh, a lucky egg, then you get two times experience. So right now I have a lucky egg that lasts for 30 minutes. Um, when you catch Pokemon, um, it'll double experience. If you evolve Pokemon, you get um, 1,000 experience instead of 500. So it's a uh, it's a good uh, thing to use if you're in like a hot spot like this. See all these spots? They're all Poke stops. So and these little um, see there's all this like little confetti floating around. So people 
put down a module, focus the module. If you activate that, then for 30 minutes, Pokemon will be uh, attracted to this area. So obviously there's a heap of them on the pier. So everyone just comes down and, and, and hooks Pokemon. That there's a gym, so if you press that. There's a gym. Um, it's too far away. At the, it says it's too far, it's just over there. So you gotta be within the range to, uh, to battle at the gym. And then uh, I think once you get level eight or, t or six or five, you can choose the team. So I chose Team Valor. Then there's like Team Instinct and Team Mystic. So there's red team, yellow team, and blue team. And so that's kind of the gist of it. Um, yeah, and everyone just comes out here and just slings Pokeball. And every night they release like a rare Pokemon. So and there's the eggs too you can hatch, right? Oh yeah, yeah, there's eggs too, exactly. Hang on. So that's the, that's the egg hands. So you can put spin on, put, go the other way. Swing it. And then I'll get like, I should get like 200, 220 experience instead of 100 if I catch them. So if you put spin on, you get extra experience. It is kind of tough. So there's the, the HP level or CP. So it's at 300. So this one's kind of a harder one because it's level 300. The weak ones are like just low hit points, so low combat points. Okay. Oh, when shit. you're mad, just. Oh, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> and they do that. Sometimes it just be. Thank you. That was just a snake, the Ekans, so it doesn't really matter. So then, yeah, also if you go into this list, there's Pokemon. Hit Pokemon, swap across. And then you have eggs. So you have you start off with one incubator. Um, and what you have to do is this one has five kilometers, two kilometers, and there's a ten kilometer. So you have to walk at least five kilometers and, uh, before they hatch. You have to have them in an the incubator to hatch them. Um, to get the incubators, you have to go to the shop. And you can get them for 150 poke coins. Uh, every time you level up, Sometimes they'll give you free incubators, um, and that's like the, the way you can do it, the, the easiest way to do it. There's also incense that you can that you can get, and they attract Pokemon to you for 30 minutes. Um, yeah, they're the, they're the main things, the Pokeballs. And to get Great Balls and Ultra Balls, to get um, to get the potions, the revives, Great Balls and uh, Ultra Balls, you have to go to the Pokestops and swap, and they'll just give you free um, yeah, like this, like this. You go to the poker stop, swipe it like that, and it just pops them out, like that. So great balls, poker balls. Oh, so there's like another Pokemon will pop up. So it's level 400. I'll just, I'll give it a berry, so it like gives you high chances of catching it. Use an ultra uh, great ball, so I can put a curvature on it. And then the catcher it should give me some extra points. There you go. So this one I got 200 experience because I've got the lucky egg activated. Um, yeah, another five minutes and then it'll run out. Magic card. So catch this fella here. Yeah. Oh. Little shit. Hang on. Let's see. Yeah, so with that little inner circle, if you can throw the ball in when the circle's small and get it in the. It's like a dartboard. If you get the bullseye, you get like an excellent or great, and there's a better chance of catching it. If you don't, it's not. So you've got a great throw. So that means I get 300 experience. So it's all about getting experience, and when you get a heap of experience, you'll uh, level up. So right now I'm level 21. Uh, 26,000 experience, and I gotta get 75,000 to get to the next level. So, another 50,000. Powering up. <laughs> yeah, Karina's best to do it. So the necessity. He literally bought that just so we could go Pokemon hunting. True well, story. Uh, I always use them, but somebody broke my last one, so I have to get a new one. This is how you get more experience really fast, okay? So, go to your items. Lucky egg. Activate that. So now, for the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna have two times experience. So then you get a Pokemon, go to um, 
upside doji, upside doji, this one. All right, evolve. You have one more. Go back. Huh? You had a more powerful one. Oh no, it was the one evolved up. There's the doji. Yeah. yeah. So then, now it's evolved. Catch you later. I've already got these ones, so I'll probably get rid of it. So now this one's what level? 1,000, 1,025 I think it is. Alright, got to set up. Down here, 1,000 experience. Normally it's only 500, but because I got the egg activated, you get two times. And same with like when you catch Pokemon now. So like for instance this tentacle. If I um, do a good throw, like a great throw, put some spin on it. That was just the average way. But it would be 200 experience instead of 100. So that's how you get it. Yeah. Huh? Did you evolve this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, show them that one. Yeah. So, okay. So this should be 200. Oh, curveball 20. So 220. Right? So he's gonna. Pound him up. It's like crazy over there, right? And if you haven't caught it yet, or it's not in your Pokedex, oh, yeah. you get extra points. You get extra experience. So that's the evolution. If you don't have it, it's going to pop up in your Pokedex, so it's registered. We have... We have one more to evolve. This tent. Evolve it. You get like, so cross out of that, and you get like, you should get, I think, 1,000 experience. 2,000. There you go. Wow. And I need 75,000 to go to level 22. I'm at 71,000. Yeah. So. The other thing, yeah, the other point, so when you're gonna like evolve one, you should look at the CP and choose the most powerful one. Like we said before. So there's Mankey, I got 109, 429, 462. So I have to see. 462 is the strongest, so if you evolve that one, it's gonna be a higher, powerful, uh, a higher combat power than the other ones. So evolve the strong ones and just transfer the weak ones. Only the strong can survive in this game. <laughs> and it evolves into Primate. PG, sorry, 38, 123, 202, 292 is the strongest. Uh, I've already evolved these, I'm just doing it for experience, just to get uh, up the, uh, the points so I can uh, level up. So Cal, is this where you get your cardio done? This is exactly where I do, this is how I do my cardio now. Every day, I, we, me and Nikki, we park down the, uh, down the beach and we walk up to the pier uh, and hopefully try and uh, hatch, some eggs. Put, hatch some eggs or hook something red. Whatever, whatever. What was yesterday? Oh, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl yesterday. We missed Charizard today. Yeah. When you're at the pier, you gotta walk up and down. You can't just stay at one place. Yeah, because they keep popping up on the GTS. You can't just, yeah, let's that. The purpose of the game is you gotta walk around to find different Pokemon. Should we do a battle? Should we battle the pier? Oh, you gotta oh. get closer? No, this one's already mine anyway. Oh, should you I do it? Yeah, yeah. Huh? You could probably take it. Should we gotta get closer to it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh shit. You beat him? No, I didn't. Oh, someone else took it. So this is a... Uh, I'm part of the Team Mystic. So this is the level level 2. So there could only be two Pokemons. Once you get it to level 3, you can add one, which is you can add yours. Um, and then the higher the level, the more Pokemons that could be in this gym. Um, since it's mine, I can battle it, but with just one Pokemon. So it's a little laggy just because of the reception or... Yeah, 
There you go, you see it's glitchy. It doesn't typically do this. this is, I can't even tell when I'm fighting. So. These gyms. See, so now it's level three, so they added one more. So since there's a lot of people, that's why it's a little bit glitchy. So now, since it's level three, they got one, two, three. The strongest one, it's always gonna appear as the face of the gym. So right now it's showing that people are battling and the strongest one, which is a Blastoise to have there. And let's see here, they, they beat it. Somebody else from a different gym beat it. So now they're down one Pokemon. So now it goes to level two. So they only have two Pokemon. So if another rival gym beats them from another team, they go down one level. As you can see, they're still battling there, and these gyms turn like that. One, you'll see a blue, next you'll see a team red or team yellow. See, now it's team red, that quick. So now, if I want to battle it, hit battle, I could choose my Pokemon. This is in order. So the first one, I like to pick my strongest, second, I can go with my third one, fourth one. So now we go. So with these, there's a little trick. You can dodge some of these by moving, swiping left or right. And then you'll see uh, that it's dodged but right now. So you tap it to battle. So now there's a Charizard. So keep tapping. Once this is brightened, you can hold it and then use this as your specialty, which we killed the Charizard. So now we win. So now it goes back to an empty gem, and then if someone has to take it, we can add one of ours. <laughs> Let's see if it added. Damn it. It's so dirty. It's just like that way. Just so. Damn, did you get it? <laughs> no, we didn't even get that gym. It like moves hands so quick. Oh my god. So, right. Let me see if it, if it did. No, someone else got it? You yeah, did? no, somebody else got it. Oh, so wow. that quick. So oh, yeah. now we're gonna. After you beat it, right? Yeah, after we beat it. Alright, so that's it for me today on my uh, little bit of a help on Pokemon Go. That's uh, kind of a yeah, quick rundown of, uh, of how the app works, how the game works, and the strategies behind it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments below. And good luck at catching them all. Gotta catch you later. <laughs>